welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing, as you should be. So today's going to be a bit of a spicy little video. I put a Instagram poll on my story, especially for this video, because we're going to do a Q&A, as well as a try on haul, because why not? We're going to fit two things in the one video. Think smarter, not harder. So I'm really excited to get into this. So I will be doing a Princess Polly try on haul. Discount code I will pop here. It is Hannah P20, all in caps. So yeah, I'm gonna see what saucy questions you guys have actually come up with. And we're gonna get straight into it. All right, you guys, I have the first outfit on. This one is inspired by the beautiful Bella Hadid. I'll put a little picture here just so you guys can picture it. Um, it's pretty identical, as you can see. It's so basic, but it just, it looks so cute. I'm like, why did I not think of this? Like, the creativity here is just, so good. So it's pretty much a white singlet underneath this tight black play suit. This is like a, it's like a swimsuit material. It's so comfortable. Like, you could go for runs, do some some squats. You could do anything in it. Go for a 5k run and you're fine. They're paired with like these really cute slimline glasses here, which really like, it gives Bella Hadid. Like, it really puts the outfit together. So cute. And then like for full wear, I would pair it with like these New Balance 9060s here in black and white with like high socks. So slay. I love it. Now, question time. Let me just whip out my phone and see what saucy questions you guys have actually come up with. This is a good question. This is about the engagement, which I was really hoping you guys would ask about it. Because <laughs> I want to share. I want to share. Okay, somebody asked... Did you have a feeling you were getting engaged or was it a complete shock? It was a complete shock. I honestly had no idea. I don't know if I was just oblivious to it because I was so adamant he wasn't going to ask. Just because before we left, anybody who would ask him, because obviously it's such a romantic little holiday that we went on, obviously people were like, you guys are going on a really romantic holiday, like it's your anniversary, because it was our five year anniversary as well when we were overseas, which made it even more perfect. Um, so yeah, people were thinking like, are you gonna ask? Like, surely you ask, it's the perfect location. Just shut it down straight away. He just be like, nah, like, I wanna wait till we're a little bit older, etc." And just completely shut it down. I was just like, he's not gonna ask because I know him. He would wanna do it when we're older. Like, I was wrong. I was wrong. He shocked us all when I tell you. <laughs> So when he did it, it was actually the second night in Santorini. We were going to dinner. He just mentioned, he's like, oh, let's dress nice and like go to like a fancy place for dinner. Mind you, like we've been going to fancy places for dinner like the whole holiday prior to him asking me. So I didn't think anything of it. Okay, I didn't think anything of it. And then like he hinted, he was like, he's like, you should wear that really like pretty white dress that you bought. And I was like, I was going to wear that anyways. Like you read my mind. <laughs> he read my mind. I tell you what. And then like he happened to match with me. And I just thought, like, he was just trying to match so we could get, like, cute pics and stuff. Because obviously, it matching and photos is really aesthetic. We were ready to go. And then he was like, he was like, let's get reception to take a photo of us. And then I was like, yeah. I was like, that sounds good. Because, like, it was a struggle for us to get, like, the cute photos together. Because obviously, like, we're, there is a couple. We just have to put it on timer cam, like, in our room or something or on our balcony. So <laughs> I was all for it. I was like, yes, like, I want a cute photo with you so I can post it on my Instagram and stuff like that. And then prior to this as well, we both spoke about getting like cute um, couple videos because like I had some like in my saves of like cute couples getting really cute videos in like on holidays and I was like, I want this, like I want to do this. But anyways, back to what I was actually saying because that will tie into what I'm talking about. Um, he found like this really pretty spot, which is like, it was like in our resort. But yeah, we went up to reception and then we got like one of the guys to come down and take it. Oh, it's getting me nervous talking about it, guys. <laughs> Doing like cute little photos to start with, as you do. And Matt was like, oh, can you actually take a video? And I was like, this is gonna be really awkward, babes. Like this random guy's taking a video of us being really cute and like doing like kissing and cuddling kind of situation. Like that's what came to my head. But anyways, I kind of just went with it. I was like, okay, let's just do it. Like who cares? Um, and then like at the start of the video, like we kissed and we hugged and stuff. And then he literally like did this and he like started to lean down one knee and I was just like, I was like, you're not. I was like, you're joking. I was stunned. I was literally just there and I was like, he like asked me. And then I was just like, I was like, yes. I was literally so stunned. I was too stunned to speak. Like it felt like my heart was going to come out of my mouth. I felt like I was going to throw up. I was that hyped and 
I was just like, shh, just shh, complete and utter shock, guys. That was how it happened. I don't actually have my ring on because it's getting resized. So bear with me. It will be here very soon and she will be attached to my finger at all times. You did it the most perfect and beautiful way possible because that was my dream like engagement location and that was also his. So it just really came together and it just happened. It was so nice. Anyways, let's chuck on the next outfit and then I'll answer another question. Okay, this next look is inspired by Kendall Jenner. Again, another queen, another slave. I have these little black sunnies here to tie the look together, a little black bag. This is such a me kind of look. Like I would definitely go out and wear this before actually looking at the inspiration. It's just a long, tight maxi dress. She hugs the figure really well, shows off the bunda, shows off the gains, which is what you want. You work hard, you want to show them off. But yes, the material's super soft, very flattering. It's like that swimsuit material again, like the um, Bella Hadid play suit that I had on. It's very comfortable, very snug. It's just paired with this basic black bag and black sunnies. And then I would also pair it with like these really cute black sandals as well. Like this is like a shopping fit. Like, I'm going shopping. BRB, I'll be back in like three hours. This dress is also such a staple as well, like in your wardrobe, because you can dress it up or down as well, which is a plus. We love that. I've got so many tight midi dresses in my closet that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I literally never really wear shorts and a top or jeans and a top. I literally just wear tight midi dresses with like sneakers or sandals. <laughs> They're just easy and they're so comfy. Anyways, shut up Hannah, let's get to the next question. Somebody's asked, what's your job and what did you study? So, I've actually never studied. When I left school, I just had no aspiration to go and study and be a teacher or I just had no interest. Like, to be honest, when I left school, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And I feel like that's so relatable. I hope it is anyways, because I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life when I finished school. <laughs> and then that stems to this part of the question, and it is, what's your job? My job is social media. I'm a full-time content creator now. I'm so blessed to be where I am. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Like, I want you to know that. Like, I just wouldn't be where I am now without that all of your love and support. Like, before I started doing content creation, I worked my little ass off as a barista for four years. So I started full-time work. Because I just wanted money. Like, I just, I was like, I need money. Like, because I had no idea what I wanted to do with life. I was like, I need to try and make as much money as I can. Full-time barista. Worked in hospitality since I was 17. And I stopped when I was 21. There you go. So, I worked my little ass off and it was so rough. Like, I actually personally used to love making coffee. But I think because I did it for so long, I just started to hate my job every single day. I hated it. I was just like, oh, I need to do something else with my life. I started to think about doing content creation when I was probably about 18. It was kind of still like fresh then, you know what I mean? Like I feel like not a lot of people did it. And I was like, this is what I want to try and be. Like I want to try and be an influencer like these girls I look up to. I'm like, I need to be like that. I want to. And basically I started trying to grow my platform, platform, my platform from about 18. And I'm 22. So it took me about four years until I could actually stop working and this could be my full-time job. It's not instant, you guys. Like, it takes a long time, but if you want it, go get it. Anyways, let's move on to the next outfit. Next question. Okay, you guys, this is the next outfit. This outfit is inspired by Sophia Ritchie. I've just paired it with this cute little bag here. So it's pretty much just this really beautiful, it's so warm as well, perfect for winter. Nude knit jumper and then these really light linen pants. Very flattering, shows up the bunda. Then we've got these cute little glasses here to pair and put the outfit together. Really fun lenses as well, they're like green. And I would also pair it with these nude little sandals here to tie the outfit together, just for some inspo. Such a cute little outfit to go like into the city and do some shopping or grab a coffee. Go to a cute little cafe, get some breakfast. I love it. Now, on to the next question. Let's bring her up. Okay, someone asked, did you notice much of a change after three weeks off when I went to Europe? To answer that question, yes. Like, I feel like to other people, people probably don't notice it as much as you do, which is so normal, because you look at yourself every day, yourself in the mirror, and then, like, when you haven't gone to the gym for ages, you know what I mean? When I was overseas, I did want to gym, like I actually really did, but I was like, no, I'm just going to give myself some time off, just because I, just because I've never
never actually had time off of the gym, like not that much time anyways. Like, three weeks is a solid amount. I think maybe I've skipped a day or two. But I was just like, I deserve it. I need to give myself a break and then I'll get back into it when I get home. I did have a little bit of doubts like when I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, oh my god, like my muscle mass is gone. Which it does. You're not as swollen. <laughs> is that the right word for it? You're not as swollen as you are if you were to be working out consistently every day. Like I feel like my muscles just relaxed and became less plump if that makes sense. Like my figure didn't change at all, my muscles just became more deflated and just ugh. <laughs> That's the best way I feel like I can describe it. I, I can't describe it any other way. When I got back I was really like so keen to get into the gym again and I thought I could lift the same weight as what I did before I left. Absolutely not. No, not at all. <laughs> um, so I went and I was like doing hip thrusts and I was like oh my god god everything feels so heavy and when i tell you i was sore i have never been that sore ever ever from training like i couldn't walk i was crippled because obviously the first day i got back i trained glutes no questions about that like obviously that was gonna happen i wasn't gonna go train upper body when i haven't trained glutes for three weeks <laughs> after like the first session i honestly i was like i can't walk or i can't work out like i need a few days off because I'm so sore I went too hard and then on the Friday when I trained glutes again I went to do RDLs and I honestly like I was like after my first rep I was like oh I cannot lift heavy today or else I will injure myself like my lower back and my hammies were so sore but if I was to lift any heavier they would have broke that's a bit dramatic my hammies would have torn or my lower back would have given way but yeah I literally only RDL'd, I started with 215s on each side, so that's only 50 kilos, and then I upped it to 220s on each side, so that was only 60 kilos, and I could normally RDL easily 80 kilos, you know what I mean? Like, it was just a reality check for me, to be honest. I was like, okay, it's normal to not feel as strong, or like, don't get worked up about it, because you will get back to the way you were. Just give yourself a few weeks. <laughs> okay, next outfit, let's chuck it together. Oh my god. Guys, I have no words for this dress. <sighs> it's so pretty. How much it hugs the bunda. <coughs> Anyways, this is the dress. I will add on what will complete the look. Just quickly, I just wanted to show you what the dress looks like without what I'm about to put on. <laughs> okay, I've just added a jumper over the top of this silk, beautiful dress. And this look is inspired by the beautiful Rosie Huntington Whiteley. And I think it is... Very different. Wearing a silk dress with like a knit grey jumper. Who would have thought? You can pull it off too. It's beautiful. A very, very gorgeous winter outfit with like high boots. I don't have high boots, but I would pair it with like a pair of nude heels. I'm going to pair it with like these nude heels or something just to really dress it up and just look really cute. The material of these jumpers are just next level. Like they're so warm. And then this dress, the silk, is just so beautiful. I am obsessed. Alright, last outfit. Last question. Let's get it. You know what I've actually got out of this celebrity look kind of video myself? I need to improve my style. <laughs> Somebody asked, can you show us your training split? I can't show you, but I can just tell you. So my training split at the moment is I train five days a week. Monday is glutes and hammies. Tuesday is back and buys. Wednesday is quads. And then I add calves at the end. So quads and calves. <laughs> uh, Thursday is a push day. So it's chest fries and shoulders which is my favorite day at the moment i love it i really enjoy it and then friday is again glutes and hammies so i do two glute days but three leg days all together because i do quads on wednesdays and i don't do cardio <laughs> i don't do cardio guys i'm sorry i'm just not a cardio girl i've never really been interested in cardio at all especially now that i'm weight training and like lifting heavy and stuff like i feel like it's a lot harder to do both like I feel like you need to choose one or the other in my opinion anyways who knows I might actually get back into cardio never know I said I was never gonna train chest here we are I'm training chest and I love it so we'll see that is my training split and then Saturday Sundays are my rest days that's been my training split for years so I've been training for about five years now that's just how I've stuck to it because I really enjoy my weekends and just doing nothing around physical activity. I will go for walks, if you want to count that as cardio. I go for like little hot girl walks on the weekend, but that's really it. 
yeah. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this cute little cheeky Q&A and try on haul at the same time. Because I've really enjoyed it. Nice to spice things up, isn't it? Yes, all my fits are from Princess Polly. Discount code is HANNAH P20, all in caps. Don't you forget. Use that at the checkout and enjoy shopping. But anyways, I love you all so much and I will see you in the next YouTube video. Bye, guys.